pixels. What's up, y'all? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna delve into the world of shimmerings today. Um, I've been notoriously not opposed to them, but I don't know. I I'm scared of them a little bit because I use fine nibbed pens. So I'm gonna ink up uh, this new bottle of Carline d'Egypte at some point here in a little bit, and I have another new pen to talk about. Awesome, Jesse. We got the Cosmos in, which I didn't know they were making a blue one. So we're gonna talk. We're gonna ink this up and talk about this a little bit today. So, and then I've got some new notebooks. Whoop. Wonder books. Have y'all heard of these yet? I haven't opened these up. They sent me these. They look really cool. So I'm gonna open them up on stream. So what y'all been up to today? Jesse, when are you heading back? Heading back soon? Did I forget my field notes already? No, I don't have any field notes uh, on the desk, actually. So I did pick up my, we'll talk about this on the podcast this week. I did pick out the notebook I'm taking to London this week. I'm going to use the Dark Star notebook since they're made in the UK. So that'll be, that'll be fun. I feel that's the right thing to do. And I haven't reviewed it yet. So I need to, I need to work on that. Did y'all have trouble drawing stars when you were a kid? Like I'm not, you know, not the little crisscross line, but like the filled out proper star. My angles are always wrong. So that's as good a star as I can get these days. Dark star. Oh, nice heading over to Honest. Destroying a converter. Wow, that was aggressive in the feedback. <laughs> Bob, you got aggressive feedback from the auto mod police. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you got to visit with Jeff for a while? I'm sorry, Jesse. <laughs> Hopefully he did good. He uh, he talked to me on and off throughout the show. He said it was a real good audience. We didn't have great sales, but that's okay. He said the crowd was real good. So that's, uh, I'm sure, what the um, promoters hope for. Yeah, that's your broken converter. Boop. So I wish I had one handy. I don't I haven't been around most of the day today to get that. Y'all keep the questions coming as we bounce through here. Nothing official today. I'm just gonna make a mess. Well, I'm gonna attempt to not make a mess. But I, I came prepared. We're gonna ink 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 pens live. I got my I brought a, a box of Acromon to ink the Cosmos pen with. And I figured it's because I might wanna keep this on the desk here in Studio B. I mean, it's just a cool bottle, right? I bought, uh, brought Travis Turquoise with me. So we'll look at the Ackermann bottles here in a little bit. Such a good color. One of the most popular ones for sure. Most recent favorite binge watch show, MLB Baseball. <laughs> That's the only thing I binge watch these days. The last show, I I mean, I don't binge watch Game of Thrones because I watched it from from the beginning and every episode as it came in. What's the last show I binge watched? There's been something here in the last year. I don't know what's what what what, what shows y'all binge watching right now? Oh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things I binge watched. So I binge watched season one, then I let season two play out, then binge watch the whole thing. So yeah. Chuck. What's Chuck? I don't know that one. So yeah, Stranger Things, I absolutely binge watched twice. And I should probably binge watch it again because I love that show. I don't know what Chuck is. You have to exp I'll have to look that one up. Yeah, Darling, I don't know. Luke Cage, I bet that's pretty cool. You know the one thing I forgot today was my pocket knife, which is unlike me, because I have uh I have boxes to open and inks to the center on TV. Okay, so I, I do. We do have Netflix. Um, I'll have to check that out. All right, let me get this bottle of ink open, and see if I can not make a mess. So, I got my sample in of Coraline d'Egypte. So, Jay Herbal, or as they're affectionately known on the fancy inks, Jacques Herbal. Oh well, that sounds uh. That sounds right up my alley, uh, Jerrica. 
that sounds perfect. Did any of y'all watch that Alex show? My wife started watching that Alex show about the podcast thing with um, Zach Braff. She said it was pretty funny, but I haven't, I haven't gotten into that. So, all right, I'm going to read you the, all of these shimmer inks have little notes on the back. So let's read what uh, this Coraline d'Egypte has. Usage guidance. This ink is for pens. Never mix this ink with another. Before filling ink pot or fountain pen, rinse thoroughly. Shake the bottle well before filling the writing instrument for best results. That's to get all your sparkles in. Hey, Steph. Hope you had fun in St. Louis. I'm not sure if you got to see Jeff or not. He had to bail early. He was... The, he's insane. He was driving to Michigan that night, so he ended up going early. If your pen is inactive for a period of time, we recommend to empty and clean it. So, words to live by from Jacques Urban. I caught it. Did you see that? Paris, 1670. Should I be a hand model? I don't have good enough fingers for that. I don't have good enough nails. So, since we didn't bring our pocket knife today we're gonna get stabby with a mechanical pencil yeah and plus I mean I think it's generally uh, Tony about the uh, Gimlet story um, I, I guess it's Alex Bloomberg and how he left and made all that up and I don't listen to many of their podcasts I, I have in the past off and on but in general I, ha I haven't uh, checked those out so one of the things about this line of G Herbal inks is their packaging is spectacular and I'm going to show you this before I shake it up um, all right let's see we got okay so this has the wow this has like a several page booklet in here about the story of the ink I'm not going to read you this thing but they do call it an ochre tent inspired by gem so gemstones sublimated thanks to its silver glitter that shines to a thousand lights so you got some uh you got some hashtag marketing going on here with this but let me show you this bottle isn't that a beaut it matches my watch um it's really they do a great job and every year they get a little bit more refined some like i remember in the first years like the wax seals were wonky and didn't come out right you you are sorry tj so they they did a n nice job with the last last fill. Woo, TJ got a sub. So I appreciate that. Now that I'm I'm Mr. Affiliate, uh, if y'all have any Prime subscriptions laying around, you Amazon Prime people, you can just smash the subscribe button, and you get like you get a free subscription to anyone like myself or TJ. Um, on uh, wow, and he's on the lead with the bits. So like I get all this fancy smanchy stuff now that I'm an affiliate. But yeah, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can just uh, use your use your free sub every month. It's like a no charge to you. You just pay f your Amazon Prime. Like I throw mine around to someone different every month, and it gives them a free five bucks a month, and um, it's just part of your Prime subscription. So uh, these are impossible to fill from Tony. I don't know. This is definitely the best packaged one. Sometimes the little seals and things are a little bit funny. Play a little bit different. So let's open this up without making a mess oh before i open this up because i need to shake it let's look at the bottom see if we can see this is the silver sparkles that are going to be in it so foggy lemon i really appreciate it thank you so much so this is what we're hoping to see in the paper when i start to use it so we're going to shake this up a little bit before i ink it up ink it up yeah, the Amazon Primes, you get one every month, so give it to your favorite Twitch streamer. Um, and because it's just sitting there otherwise, and it, it definitely benefits us. So you just hand them, hand them out like candy once a month. Pick someone out you like watching. Hit the little button, and you'll get uh, little extras. I don't have my extras built in yet. No, you can do it through the app or through the sub thing. I think uh, TJ Mike can answer that. Um, yeah, so I'm not totally sure. And did y'all even hear that when it came up? Like, I don't even know. I've, I've been having audio difficulties, but... Okay, Twitch Prime does have to be on the site, so... It's easy to do because Twitch is an Amazon company. They integrate all that in. So, we've got this shaken up. 
we're going to use the Twisby Eco, the Eco T, which is my favorite Twisby of the uh, today. That might change tomorrow. Um, I haven't tried the new Twisby Go, which we had a, a fun with on the last podcast. So let me get a little bit prepared for spillage here because I have no protection for spills around this desk. So I want to make sure I don't make a mess on the carpet because this is room is carpeted. Do I normally shake inks before inking? No, but this one has particles in it. So I shook it up. I'm going to have to shake it up again before I fill it to make sure I get it. So this is a shimmer ink, which means it has extra bits in it. So we want these things to get in my ink barrel and come out on the page. So you will shake these, you will shake these up before using them. But like I have a bottle of Acromaw right here that there's no need to shake that up. I don't, I don't, I don't have, I'm not in the habit of just shaking something up before I ink it now. So if y'all caught my pen cleaning stream, y'all know I'm a little bit anal retentive about stuff. So we're going to lay this cloth down right here. Um, I'll kind of show you how to, how to ink a pen if anyone has not filled a piston filling pen or a cartridge filling pen we're going to do that here in just a second but i don't want to aim the camera down i don't want to jostle y'all's head too much and i don't have that overhead cam just yet so we'll work on that overhead camera shot then you'll be able to see my hands work um do y'all want to see boop just subscribe thanks so much boop man how you allow me allow me, allow me converter for that one do I want to see if I can show you all this without totally wrecking your view? I, I'm going to try this once, and if it goes poorly, I won't touch it again. But be prepared. I'm going to hit the camera. If you are easily nauseated, close your eyes for one minute. I'm going to do this now and see just what this angle looks like. So I can't even get the angle all the way down there, but that's what we're about to do. So we'll forget that for today. So let me get my camera back. Okay, so whoops, we're back. All right, so I'll work on that overhead shot because it's so helpful just on cleaning a pen, like to see how to dip the pen in here, you know, fill up the piston, you know, run the ink back up in here. I'd like to be able to show you that a little bit better on on camera. So I'm gonna give this, see how fast this settles? And I totally anticipate this is gonna settle in the pen when I'm not using it. So we'll be able to see that on the stream today. But um, yeah, we need to give this, a pretty decent shake and I need coffee while I'm shaking. So thanks thanks for testing out all my buttons everyone. I appreciate the subs and the bits. Yeah, but you have test I had to hold it. I can't get it any further. Um You got me thinking now. I'm going to try one more thing. Don't shoot me guys. Let's see if I can lift this at all. Hey, look, let's see, is that gonna stay? All right, I apologize for hitting the camera. I just wanna make sure it doesn't move while we're doing this. Hey, that worked out pretty well. What do y'all think? You can see all the magic about to happen. Pretty cool, you have tests. Thanks for, thanks for forcing me to do it again and getting out of my comfort zone. All right, so. Captain Anal of here is going to take uh, a little bit of water because I need to, uh, I have to wipe off my uh, nibs and feeds. Oh, thanks, Foggy Lemon. I love this shirt too. It's my little travel shirt. It's a little too touristy to wear to London, so I wore it today because I know I wouldn't need to, <laughs> I wouldn't need to wear it for London. All right, so the camera is having a little trouble keeping up focus while I'm shaking and shimmering all around. So let's pop this off. Oh, thanks, TJ. TJ's my Twitch daddy. For y'all that don't know, well, um, once I hit, I guess once I once I make partner TJ, I'll get it. You'll get your own Twitch daddy emote. But right now, I've only got one emote. We got to get like a pen addict logo in there, or one of my uh, one of my caricatures that so many people have made over the years. So I want to do this kind of quickly because I don't want this to settle. So. We're just gonna put the piston down. We're gonna dip this in right past the section. We're gonna twist it up here, and we're gonna hope like heck 
we got some sparkle in here. So we'll be able to tell pretty soon when I do this. And this is why I have the wet paper towel here as well. So we can, uh, if I can avoid getting ink on my fingers, I will. One dog night, what are you too late for? Yeah, <laughs> I, I felt like it, uh, I was going too slow, but you know what, I have spark, I have, uh, I have some in here. I'll show you in just a second. I can already see it in the barrel. But I'm super particular. If I don't mind inky fingers, if I can avoid inky fingers, I would prefer to. So let me cap this up and we'll get to writing. See what it looks like. Great little box that this came in. They go all out for these inks. What do these inks uh, retail for? They're like in the low 20s. So it's a 50 milliliter bottle. I want to say it's like $23, $24. I could be wrong there. Um, for the record, Execlair, the Clairefontaine, J. Herbon, Rhodia distributor in the U.S. sent me this for free. So I don't know the price off the top of my head. My apologies. Y'all can see I switched out my keyboard. Um, this one's a little bit smaller and has the Cherry MX switches. So I I'm digging this one much, much better. I actually bought it at the same time. Just hadn't had time to use it yet. So uh, let me find out how much this sink goes for. Or y'all can look it up while I'm I'm doing this. I have the um, story, story Supply Exposition. Or is it Expedition? I keep this in the back. It's the Exposition. So we're gonna we're gonna see. Tony, thanks for the sub. Alright, it's gonna be hard to see. See if I can get any angle or any lighting here. You can't see anything but the bubble. Maybe if I settle it this way. I see a lot of swirls in the ink that you can't see. Oh, were they 28? Oh, five dollars for the rouge. That one's really popular, the rouge one. So you can't see it in here, but I'm seeing a little swirl action in here. So yeah, 20, 28. So let's see if I'm I'm lucky at all. This is the 1.1 Twisby stub nib, and I, I wanted something with a little bit of width to show off the ink color because I would normally use uh, an extra fine nib. Thanks, Tony. I'm glad you figured it out. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a freebie for all you uh, Amazon. Prime subscribers. So this is on whichever paper Vito uses for the exposition for story supply, which is good fountain pen paper. Um, although this is inks a little bit heavy and a little bit inky for it, there's a little bit of little little bit of ghosting on the back. I'm getting a pretty good amount of shimmer in here. I'll show y'all this in just a second. But you can tell that my orange. Yeah, so the Twitch Prime is complete. I, I learned the same thing, Evan. When I started watching the, um, when I started watching Twitch for the first time myself, and I've had been an Amazon Prime subscriber forever, I was like, really? You just push that button and it's free? It's like a benefit of your account? And yeah, that's it. So, camera's not going to like me shoving it in its face. So, let's see if it'll focus at all. It's not really focusing for you guys. I apologize. The uh, top-down camera would help in that. There is, I mean, I do TJ. No, this is the Story Supply Exposition. So TJ, I do for the features of the ink, right? If you have an ink that has a high amount of shading or sheen or shimmer, in this case, you want to use... Um, a wider nib to see the properties of the ink which is why I don't use them a lot because I use finer nibs so I'm getting it's a it's a darker orange for sure and I'm definitely getting it almost looks like a um, I'm getting a ton of sparkles in here I'll take some pictures and put them on Instagram Instagram so um, getting that a bit out of that shake up of the of the ink bottle I got a lot of the sparkles in here and look you can see this already so this is what let's see if we can get this on here you're not gonna be able to see this at all I don't know if there's a good way 
but you're already getting settling in the feed here you probably can't see that it looks really dark on camera but I have oh, well it's already moved around as I roll it around it's moving Bob thanks so much buddy again look at those little things falling in my in my beer boom look at those things how cool is that that's awesome thank y'all so this this ink settles extraordinarily fast whoa I shouldn't throw it around like that that was a good one so yeah I shouldn't be swinging it around we almost saw a live stream fail so if you are looking for any type of shimmer this one works really well like it's coming out in there a lot now what the color looks like to me it looks like yeah orange all the things I mean I don't know if you've been around you you're, you're pretty new to the whole pin act thing boop um, orange is my thing if you couldn't tell so what I'm noticing about this ink is it writes in a nice dark orange and then it's like the color grows gray hair it's like you know someone with red hair that's starting to get salt and peppery um, and it looks good you know I like that uh, I like that look I don't know whether I'm gonna do you know this might be a one and done thing for me am I gonna enjoy play Evan Max thank you so much I appreciate that man y'all are rocking today the uh, I this is what I can't decide is how much I use this so let's switch it over to Tomoe River real quick and I don't have a pure white page yet I need to get some Rhodia here in Studio B to show off products oh I do have the knock page but we had trouble showing the grid on there I need an orange mysterious Mysterium Squire. That's a good looking pen, Tony. I do not need one though. I'm I'm covered. Uh Dejeep. I gotta I gotta remember how to spell. I like writing the, the names of the products. So again, I'm getting pretty good, pretty good sparkle in here. I know you can't see it. I'll take some pictures of me playing around with this. Uh oh, why'd you have to reload the browser page? I wish you could see this settling in this pen. It's pretty wild. But every time I, I turn it, switch Prime work for the non-main of account of a Prime family. That's a great question. I don't know if it's a separate login. For the prime account so in this one you might be able to see on my Egypt it came out with a much more sparkly color a lot more shimmer in that Lirlini thank you so much whoa my voice just cracked I'm hitting puberty thank you so much I appreciate that so it's hard to see I, I'll admit that I think the you know not to totally pimp myself but I think the the shimmer actually worked better on our paper than Vito so I'll t I'll I'll have me and Vito will have a talk we'll have a smackdown there is a lot of shimmer in this ink gang like I'm seeing a ton of it I wish I could show you that so let's do it on uh, Tomoe River yeah, yeah, I was a late bloomer, Tony. So let's see what happens here. Y'all can see how behind I am in my in my notebook. Make sure I don't have any like super private information on here. We'll cover that up. <laughs> so this is from uh, June twenty seventh. Clearly, that's today. Um, people say TJ that it won't with this brand with the Shea Hairball inks that they perform pretty well in all types of ink I still worry about it that's just a thing for me like it 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 makes me think twice about using it 
I know, but it is for these purposes, Tony. Just pretend uh, you had a three martini lunch. But you can see that's the last time I used um, my cousin. I can't help but want to call this Coraline, not Cornaline. So I'm getting almost no, not as much shimmer on this, but maybe it's because it takes a little bit longer to dry. on the Tomoe River paper. I'll tell you one thing, TJ, you're asking about using this in a fine nib. I know this is a 1.1 stub. It flows like crazy good. This is not a dry ink whatsoever. I think it would probably work pretty well in a fine nib, to be honest. All right, so yeah, I think it's just because this was taking a little bit longer to dry. This looks awesome on Tomoe River paper. paper. Stephanie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love everyone figuring out their Twitch Prime subs today. I'm glad I can get people on Twitch to like figure these things out. Sherry, thank you so much. Gosh, y'all are awesome. Yeah, you you figure like like Tony said, these things are just sitting here, and you know if you're new to Twitch, it's something you can play around with and find some creators. Jerica, thank you so much. Good grief, you're all out of hand. So yeah, this is super bad to see, but I'll do I'll do a picture later. It definitely looks the best on the Tomoe River because it really sits up. <laughs> yeah, everyone has little buttons and crowns and stars and all kinds of stuff. Kyle, thank you so much. The non-main Prime account gets the sub. Nice. Yeah, if you could... One Dog Night, thank you so much. Um, if I could show you this... How many subs is it before emotes are available? So I'm an affiliate. That means I get one sub and I got to get it created. I mean, I get one emote and then I got to figure out when the next, um, the next level up is. It's like goes from one to five or something like that. I'll have to figure that out. So I wish I could show you TJ. It happens so fast, but look how it all just sits there. That's just for me setting the pin down for a second. You can see it's sinking down now. I'm very much prefer the Eco T, and I'm not one that mines um, molded grip sections, but this shape for me has has been perfect. This is my favorite Eco, not only just for the color, but just for the shape and feel wise, without a question. This is the one. So rewizzles, I gotta figure that out. So that's on the the top of my list is the emotes. So I'll figure that out. Um, I'll get the first emote out. I gotta figure out how to make them or get someone to make them for me. Like I, it should it should be super easy, but I get one now. So all of you who just joined, pretty soon you're gonna be able to have little extra bells and whistles for your subscriptions. Um, the first thing will be an emote. And I just gotta decide what I want it to be, you know, a little pen attic logo that you can, you know, do little emote commands in there for. So we'll do things like that. All right, so you all have any more questions about the, the glitter bomb that is, the Coraline Dijipte. Do I still have the Lime Green Eco? I do not. I think I gave that one to Sarah to review for the Pen Addict. <laughs> Evan Max, all you have to do is hang out on Twitch for like a day, and then you'll hear like every Twitch streamer like uh, like spouting it out. So it's like it's already burned in my head just from just from listening and watching other streamers because it's such an easy thing to you it's use it's a nice thing that uh that they do and uh it's a i mean it's not free obviously you're paying for a for prime account but it's become a whole joke and meme around twitch about asking for prime subs and teaching people how to use it so it's pretty funny all right so no more questions about that we have a second pin to talk about well a first first pin so this is the Cosmos, which is on Kickstarter right now. They just sent this to me. It arrived on Thursday last week. 
I didn't get the early look that uh, some other people had. Like Ed Jelly had a review up. I think Joe at Gentleman Station had a review up. And Drees on the Pencil Case blog had a review up. I didn't have time to get a review up before the campaign ends, which ends like two days, something like that. Yes, Bachneb, um, Tony. So this pen, the first thing I thought when I saw this pen was this. So it reminds me completely of my favorite pen, which is the pen type B from CWT. So I was like, oh man, it's like a, it's like identical in, um, you know, having the flat side, but the, uh, the pen type B just has one flat side. This one has two, but the way the corners are, the ends are rounded. Um, it totally made me think of this like every time. Uh, did the eco T's not have a nib size? No, yeah, they sure don't. It's not on the back anywhere either. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this pen sit and y'all will see what this thing does. So that was my initial thought um, about this pen. It looks good, it feels good. This is aluminum. This is like, uh, I don't know what he calls this color, midnight blue or something. The anodizing is awesome and the feature aside from the two flat sides to help prevent it from rolling away, and I think it looks good, is it's a magnet cap. And the the way it's designed is the magnet. Miguel, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. The way the magnet cap is designed, it not only will it just snap on there, but it'll adjust so the, the facets line up. So if I even if I put it on crooked, it will flip over, and it's always lined up correctly. Lizuto, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for following. So, yeah, it's always lined up with the magnet. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about. The second thing I noticed real quickly was that when you're in the normal writing position, the two flat sides are correctly positioned, I think, from a design perspective um, to the left and right of the center line of the barrel. So the center line comes up the round, and so you're not having like some wonky weird line um, to mess up the aesthetic of the pen that's something I look at and see one thing I did find weird just from a design perspective like if you've taken the care to line up your magnets and to have this clean line right through the center of the pen I don't understand why this edge of the section is black instead of anodized blue because it's not part of the feed. So this is a standard Bach nib unit. It comes with a, a cartridge, you know, one of those little short international cartridges. I just throw those away. So I found it interesting that I don't know why this part's black because it's not part of the nib unit. It's part of the barrel there. I don't know what the theory is here, unless it is part of some new nib unit that they're designing, but it doesn't come off. So with these Bach nibs, you can swap them out and I can't get the collar out of this pin. So like the nib just pulls out. Let's see if I, did I finally get it? So I say the nib just pulls out and it doesn't right now. I can't tell Tony, it's weird. Like I keep scratching it and hitting it. It feels metal, but I can't tell. Uh, we're about to ink it up. Oani, Oani P. Thanks for the sub. I don't, I'm butchering that name. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Tony. It's got to be there for a reason. So we'll have to see how it lines up. There is a cap liner up in here. You can maybe barely see. So that might flush up against there, which would be good. Hey, then it's good. I just haven't seen that. It could be, it could be rubber, could be hard rubber. So what's funny is I got this nib out earlier at home and now it doesn't want to cooperate. So it's a Bach nib. They normally just slide out, but I'm having difficulty right now. So we'll just fill it up instead. And hopefully I have this actually on there tight. So this is, um, this is the Cosmos pin. It's on, it's a Kickstarter pin right now. Um, a couple of my friends have reviewed it. Uh, Drees, uh, pencil case blog, Ed Jelly and Joe. Uh, from the gentleman stationer. So yeah, I'm getting some twisting now. Now that I say that about this lining up, this is gonna bug me. 
I'm going to play with this for a second. I don't know if this is like endlessly twisting or it's going to come out twisting. I didn't break it yet. So, we're just going to see. I'm going to see if I can unbreak it though. I guess that would mean I broke it in the first place. So, I guess it's just going to spin forever, which means I've probably ruined my alignment, which now is going to bug me. Let me put it back in. But regardless, let's fill this up. Standard international uh, cartridge converter. See, it's twisting when I twist the cartridge. I mean, twist the converter. Sam Jing, what's up? So let's sync this up. So I bought the brought the Trevis Turquoise just for this purpose. Have y'all seen the Ackermann bottles? I think most of you probably have, maybe not all of you. But they have this cool little section in the top where a marble holds off the ink below so you can tilt it and fill up the top, fill my pen from there. So that's why I brought it in. This is a good uh this is always a fun thing to play around with. So you just pour the ink all the way up there and then I now have this full section of ink to fill from. So you can see how full it is when I open up this bottle. It comes pretty far up there. So now let's see how about I mess this if I mess this nib up at all. I don't think I did. Alright. So we'll just ink that bad boy up and wipe it off and never wow which bottle did you choose stephanie yeah this uh this uh ink color is super hot what'd you do stephanie i i didn't uh i did not participate because i could not uh i couldn't commit to that I would fail. I've been wondering that, Tony. Because um, I've seen them start to land in the wild. And, you know, I don't know if it's going to have to be something like... It's it's an ink color that I don't like, which would be like the color of this shirt. It's like the... Um, yeah. See, now that I said that about the alignment, I have my alignment all wrong. So that's going to bug me. But we can move it. Um, I've been thinking like, you know, Diablo Menth or, oh no, my Ackermann's not close. That's still got about half the bottle or so left <laughs> in it, I think. Um, uh, maybe I should pick this one. I actually haven't been inking this one up this year at all. All right, let me move these things out of the way and we'll do some writing with it and see how it goes. I mean, it's a Bach nib, you know, yet yeah, standard issue, Bach or Yovo. I prefer Yovo, but... A Yamadori would be nice, Tony. I, that's something I would pick. But it's really more like that uh, Diablo Mint or one of those minty um, dye mines. So, let's see. So, I don't know what size this nib is. I did try to check earlier. It looks like a fine nib to me. Again, Bach without the markings on the nib. They usually put the markings down on the feed or in the collar. And that's what I was trying to get out and check earlier when I couldn't get out the whole nib unit. Yeah, a box having a downturn. I used to not care. I always preferred Yovo over Bach. And if I got a pin with a Bach nib, no big deal. They were fine, but they've kind of gone downhill, downhill here. So this one actually needs to get going a little bit. So I ink this straight through the nib. I mean, y'all saw me ink it up straight through, dipping it in the, uh... oh, well, I've got other ones with colors on them. Is it just Karis that does that? I didn't realize that. Maybe all my extras I bought from Lisa Van Ness or something, and she got all her extras from Karis. So this nib feels like it has a baby's bottom right out the gate. I don't want to be, you know, it's not the pen's fault, but it is the nib you're This might be a medium that's not writing really well. I love the feel and look of this pen. 
Yeah, I hope so. Yovos are my favorite. That'd be nice if Kaviko did. They would know. The Goulets would know. So we're getting here, but so you can't see this on the screen. But my horizontal lines are just like super like exactly what you would think of when you see a baby's bottom. It's kind of dry. Um, you know, when you're going from left to right or right to left, you don't get as much ink flow when the nib is shaped that way. So that's why my my vertical lines are good. My horizontal lines are not good. This is just going to be a nib issue. I think with Bach, we're just in trouble for a while. You know, it's uh, the one thing I've learned with Kavecos is the finer the better. Like I don't, I'm like when people complain about Kavecos, I use mostly extra fines, so I've never seen as much problems. But when you get to mediums it's noticeably skippy so it's uh it's a little bit better the more i write with it but you know it's a bach nib if it was me and i was backing this pen it wouldn't turn me off because i know i have good nibs i can put it in here put in here if you've never used a fountain pen and you're backing this pen you're gonna have lots more questions than i'll have about this pen so I don't love the nib I do love the pen so really nothing wrong with the pen whatsoever it's light it's aluminum it's lighter than I expect it to be especially when I look at something like this and I, I have this mentally in my head um, this is you know three or four times the weight of the Cosmos pen but I do like this pen it's just you know your mileage may vary on the nib like I keep I keep doodling with it and it's never consistent, especially and noticeably in the left to right strokes. So yeah, the, uh, the bigger, the bigger, the nib in Bach, the worse it seems to be in my experience. So we'll see. Um, right now the orange ink is winning over the cosmos pen for, for today. So I love this barrel though. I kind of want this barrel in, and like a ballpoint pen or a, a gel ink pen. I would be all over that. I just need to find a good nib to put into it. It's just too inconsistent. Let me try it on a different paper here and see if that makes any difference. But Yovo nibs are just so, uh, Yovos are a little shaped a little bit differently in the nib and feed shape, so they do not fit generally. Um, people will jam them in there to get them to fit sometimes. I, they just don't, if they don't fit for me, just swapping the parts out, I'm not gonna uh, jam it any harder than that. So generally, no, they do not fit. But yeah, like Tony says, you can, sh you can make it happen. I'm not interested in doing that. This is the Cosmos pen. It's a Kickstarter pen. They just sent me uh, the campaigns about to end, so I didn't have time to review it. It's an awesome pen. Like I'm really impressed with the pen itself. Um, it has a Bach nib, which is just kind of average at best. So they're just a little bit, yeah, it's trial and error to find a proper nib. So what I've always said about the Kavecos in the past is find like two nibs that you love, know which, nib you use because like say i have 10 kavecos probably you know something like that but i only have two or three nibs that i rotate through them because i know those are my good nibs so and i'll never have all 10 kavecos inked up at any time period so you know pick out the good ones mark those so you know that they're safe uh that or know that they're your favorite to use and just go from there so like i said i've never let a nib especially, you know, a stock basic nib like this, stop me from buying a pen that I like. I really like this pen. It's really nice. But if you don't have a supply of nibs sitting in your closet like I do, you could end up in, with some frustration. Yeah, it's just inconsistent. You know, when you get 
a baby bo baby's bottom on the nib and it's really hard to display it's almost i mean there's no way you could see it there's no way i can barely see it with the naked eye there's just more tipping around the bottom and it's not angled properly for good ink flow and good writing it sometimes will skip it will leave a drier line so that's the the things that the baby's bottom leave behind i can work on this and with my sandpaper i'm making these motions because you do it like in a little figure eight and a little infinity circle to kind of smooth them down but no one who buys this pen right out the gate wants to do that and they're not all going to be like this yeah you can i've bought several replacement nibs i basically have a stock of of bach and yovo nibs to figure out the good ones that i like and keep those handy for the pens that I want to use them the most in. So like I have a gold box stub nib that I love. I put that in a lot of pens, you know, for example. But it just doesn't give you as good of a writing experience. Um, like I said, it's more dry, but you know, this is the pen designer's choice. Um, they're concerned about making the pen. I would rather them use Bach than Schmidt, but Yovo, Yovo would be my choice out of all of them. And if it gets it gets to the point where you're backing these types of things, you're going to you're going to want to have some options other than the stock nibs that are provided. Just like you want other options from having stock refills. Um, from you know if you don't like the schmidt p8127 that ships with pens it's the same thing as as the nib you know you want to find something different that you know suits you better all right i'm gonna show you all this real quick so this has been sitting here for what 10 minutes um so we'll see we're gonna flip this over i don't know if you'll be able to see it let's put it on my gray background on the black background here I don't know if you'll be able to see or if the lighting will pick it up, but when I turn this over, you'll see what uh, what the settled ink looks like. And I'm gonna take this off, take the cap off, because it shows it on the on the feet on the feet area too. All right, you ready? Because as soon as I flip it, it's gonna settle. See, that's all the sediment. You can see it crashing down now. <laughs> that's all the shimmer that's in this barrel. Um, I don't know if there's been a Kickstarter that's used Yovo. I'd have to think about it. Maybe it's just I'm thinking more of like the aftermarket makers, you know, like, you know, Canalea and Franklin Kristoff and Edison. All of them order from Yovo directly. So y'all can see what that shimmer looked like when it was, uh, see, you turn it over, it's it's on the opposite side now. So that's how much sparkle is in here. So you gotta, I'm very concerned about um, fountain pen maintenance. So we're gonna leave this in here for... I don't know. I'll probably ink it up before I go out of town later this week. Yeah, I don't know. Same difference. I just know the output is the same being Yovo. So yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any Kickstarters have used Yovo. How would that type of ink work in a pilot power well? Um, it would look pretty good, I think. Are you saying it wouldn't work in a pilot parallel, Sam Jing? I'm going to adjust my camera, so, uh, you know, avert your eyes for one second. We're going to get this back. I think we're done with desk show and tell. I have notebook show and tell coming up next, so which we can get back to norm normal camera angles for. Thank you. I, I love this shirt, too. I wear this to pin show sometimes. It's a good pin show shirt. I like to wear uh, colorful pin show shirts. It's always good to find me in, but... Uh, I'm preparing to go out of town later this week, so I'm sure like a, a lot of you, you know, you manage your laundry. You make sure you wear the things that you're not going to take on your trip. And since I'm going out of the country, um, this is like tourist central shirt. I would never, <laughs> I would never wear this out of the country. I don't care. I don't care where. Like as much as I love this shirt, it's staying at home. See, I don't think, I don't think this would clog the two plates at all, Sam Jing. If it's not clogging this feed and this nib and the 1.1 stub. I think it would work. I'll have to get one and find out, but this ink flows shockingly well. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. Y'all know better than me. I have a parallel at home I never ink up, 
but I know a lot of people use shimmer inks in the parallels. Yeah, this undershirt is famous. You know this undershirt. It's got a little logo dude on here. I have a Noodler's Boston safety pin that I use shimmer in. Yeah, that's why. I mean, I'm gonna start here. If I end up liking this ink, I'll uh, graduate it to, you know, a pin that I use more regularly, like a Sailor or something like that. But I'm I'm just nervous. I mean, people tell me not to be not to be nervous. Yeah, it totally looks yellow, especially with these orange things on the screen right there. So yeah, it looks yellow, but it's the orange. It's it's cantaloupe, Tony. It's very cantaloupe. There you go. The the launcher pins are yobos, so that makes sense. Alright, I wanna open these new notebooks I got today. And we'll see how they look. Beef jerky, thanks for the sub. Jim is in the house. Jerky for all of us. I haven't seen these around anyone. Maybe I just haven't looked enough to see um, who else has gotten these yet. But they're from Wonder Books. They're notebooks. They emailed me, said, hey, can we send you some notebooks? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So I get this pack of notebooks. And I've been too chicken to open them up because the packaging is so nice. They're like in this wax paper. So there's this one, and there's this one, and there's this one. So they're in this wax paper with like a little, you know, string string pull on it. So you can't get into them until you open them up. I'm like, I don't want to open them up. They look so good. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Um, and they sent me stickers, and they sent matchbooks, which I love matchbook design. If y'all follow me at all, you know, I tweet out like graphic design for matchbooks all the time. So. I don't know anything about these other than, man, their packaging is cool. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's satisfying. I'm not going to lie. So is this the company that does like the monthly like random designs? I mean, that's a pretty rad. Um, we're going to go with Pineapple Lantern or Jacko Napple. What are we going with here? I like Pineapple Lantern, I think. Um, so this is really unique artwork. I'll need to read. Let's pull up Wonder Books here While we're talking here so I can give you more info. I like this show-and-tell thing Do y'all like this show-and-tell? This is kind of fun because I just open all this stuff up at home. Oh, yeah, it's whoops Be careful typing Wonder Books In your browser. I don't know where I just landed. Oh my god Yeah, it depends on what you're showing. Well, your hair every day is Tony, so I guess I'm showing the right stuff. Sorry for all the clicky clacky, but I want to see what um, Wonder Books is really hard to search for as a name brand. So, as you can imagine, so I still haven't found them yet. Wow. So I'm actually going to have to, uh, yeah, pun. We have a strong pun game. I'm going to have to find. I don't have a card or anything. All right. So, Pina Lantern. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Will you do a show and tell of your backpacks and messenger bags? Sure. I will do that. Yeah. This is, this is tough, Stephanie. So here's a business pro tip. If you like your name a lot, be careful. Other people can find it if they like it a lot too. So Tony has found it for us. Thank you, Tony. Wonder Books brand, just like Field Notes brand. That's Field Notes was hard to search for at the time. So yeah, let me see if these are the ones that um, do. Oh, it's the Pino Lantern. Pino Lantern is this one. I see it on the site now. So what I'm wondering is if they are, is this a subscription or not? Made in Baltimore, that I did know. <laughs> Pina Lantern's better. Yeah, Google was not happy trying to find Wonder Books. Okay, so yeah. So, so like this notebook is six bucks, so it's uh, it's got a nice, really sturdy cover. It's 
got to be. Let me see if they have the specs on here. Uh, three and a half by five and a half doesn't actually exactly say. God a lantern, God. All right, let's see what the paper is like. So the paper is a dot grid, which the lighting does not like. But it's a wide dot grid. It's not a very fine one. This has to be like a five by five grid, at least. I'm thinking. Another thing I need to bring to the Studio B is a ruler, so I can measure this stuff for y'all live. Let's see. Let's throw some pins at it. See how. Do you want me to open all these first, or do you want me to test out the paper first? Open or test? Open or test? What do you got? Open them all. Oh, I have several rulers from Jet Pins already. I keep them in my desk at home. I use them all the time, but just for things like this, when I don't get a spec for what the what the dot is, you know, I'll measure them out because I want to know if they're four by. I can usually eyeball them good enough. But this is close to being bigger than 5x5, five five, so I'm not sure. All right, we're opening them all. Yeah, I don't know. It's a guy named uh, Jared. What's his name? Jordan Levine. He's been on the Erasable podcast. I guess I missed, missed that episode. So I guess check out the episode of Erasable. Where did it go? Let's see episode 96 of the erasable podcast oh is this the guy that used to work for right well then we'll have to uh i'll have to ask my man my man chris about this guy <laughs> make sure we're on the up and up here <laughs> see i don't uh, people want to um like like have like pen stationary drama the fact is i just don't know i know they're from baltimore i was like oh man right pads from baltimore that's cool I didn't know that maybe the guy used to work for him. I don't, I don't know these things. I don't care enough. You make cool stuff. I'm into it. All right. So, oh, yeah. We got to open all these. So, we got the Pino Lantern. And where are we going now? Evelyn, what's up? We got the Pino Lantern. This must be the Comet Companion. I love this packaging, except this one's not, this one's not happening for me. First one just went. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll text Chris after this show. Yeah, might not be any drama, but people doesn't stop people from making stuff up, Jim. That's That was my point. There doesn't have to be drama for there to be drama in any communities like that, right? People just want to say stuff, tell stories. Yeah. It's, like I said, Tony, it's close to being bigger than 5x5, five five, but I don't have a ruler here. All right, so this is the Comic Companion. Okay, so this is a literal comic companion. So it's got the instructions here. Then it has spaces for your comic collection. For what do we have? The set list, location, opener, closer. Oh, no, this is like, okay, so Jordan was a comedian. I'm thinking comic book. So this is where he was putting down his joke lists for his shows. There's a joke vault in here. This is kind of, it's got a section for writing prompts. This is pretty cool. This is more useful than I thought. I thought it was just like a tracker, like a beer companion. But it's not. It's got all different sections. So it's got a joke vault. Like I'm sure all the, all the comedians um, have different titles for their jokes. So he can know when and where he's done these jokes before. Um, upcoming event section. Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm down with this. I like highly specific notebooks like this. So yeah, very cool. So that's the Comic Companion for all you aspiring comedians out there. This is the one I'm most interested in. This must be the third thing on the site called the Wonder Books 1. And I can tell it has one of those uh, twist tie enclosures. See, this one worked. It's like so satisfying to open these. I'm surprised these are only six bucks for what... Uh... Yeah, I'm with you, Jim. Um... So this is interesting. Uh, yeah, it's Butcher Blue. It's got um, it's got the rope tie, the button ties things in the back. And to use this, you have to untie it and pull here. I am super confused 
at how he's selling these for six dollars this is a lot for six dollars like a lot of technology into one notebook so it's three and a half by five and a half spiral bound double ring full flap cover like diary type cover additional little button ties perf zip with a pull on it that seems like low price to me yeah like and then you know the little wax paper zipper thing deal going yeah the feature the feature set is off the chart on these so let's rip it open so we got these little twisty ties here All right, y'all ready? Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. That didn't work. All right. So maybe that was supposed to be that way. I don't. No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Looks like I missed the. The little tab worked. Let me get the rest of this tab out. There we go. All right. Now we're in business. Took two tries, but hey, that's cool. All right, I'll open it up, and I have. Let me see this extra perf in mine. So, you know, technical uh, technical uh, things you need to look at inside of my notebook. That's okay. It's like an extra sheet was in here that was ripped off, and all the remnants were left behind. So. I love this little setup for a pocket notebook. It even has a pocket in the back, so you can tuck things in here. That's a great idea. This looks like the same paper that's in all the books. So let's let's test this one out. I do like the scored cover, you know, the way it flaps over and ties. Yeah, I was going at an odd angle too, so you know, not my best, not my best effort there. You know, I could have just ripped it off screen and you know we, we could have gone with that but all right so let's try sparkle boy first look at that it's like sediment you gotta shake it up a little bit all right see how this works with the uh, fountain paper fountain pen paper this is thick paper for one this has got to be uh, um, it may not be 70 pounds, it might only be 60. Feels good though. G, or bon. Jim, I've been pronouncing things good while you weren't here. Pronouncing things well, I should say. I do hate that I can't have music on in the background, but it's okay. Cornaline. Oh, I forgot the D. D. Egypt. So this is the widest, wettest pen I have on this paper, and it handled it pretty well. It's like, I mean, you can only expect so much. Golly, I need studio lighting. Yeah, I looked right before the stream, Jim, and uh, there, there's definitely some some things out there. I just wanted to do a little bit more research before I, before I pumped them in. So there's no... There's no feathering at all on the page here, which I know you can't see. And I know the lighting's playing tricks. A little bit of ghosting, a little bit of bleed through. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. So you can see that, but that's a heavy, heavy wet ink. Let's try some of these other, other pens and see. So this is the, the Cosmos with the, with the Bach nib. And the Ackermann. The Ackermann uh, number 11. So it's doing pretty well with this ink. Um, this is a little bit of a tough pen to judge because it's so skippy with the baby's bottom. 
but it seems fine. Yeah, I know, not everyone likes the music. But um, there's no no feathering, definitely no bleed on that one. That's probably, we're guessing that's a medium, medium tip, but it's riding pretty terribly with that nib, unfortunately. So this is the super fine zebra brush pen. This is one of my favorite pens. Um, and it's just, you know, a regular like drawing pen ink. And these are always good to test with. Because they will go through if, if the paper's not, not really good. And it sits up awesome on this page. This is really nice paper. Yeah. So no feathering on a essentially a marker, if you will. And yeah, nothing on the back. No bleed, nothing. So this is about as good of paper as you can get for the vast majority of uses. You know, anything outside of your Sharpie, you're gonna not be able to use, but uh, anything outside of that, even your, your wet fountain pens will do pretty good. Uh, that makes it that's good to know Evan see that's uh that's helpful to understand how people listen to me ramble about pens and things so this is the pilot high tech C 0.3 millimeter that's gonna have no issue yeah so paper approved Jordan nice job I don't know what it is it doesn't say on the site yeah but this is a cool concept like this is my favorite out of the bunch just because it's something different you know it's a little bit more fidgety you know you have the the button tabs here that you gotta wrap up and you know when you're when I was writing the first thing I did was flatten this out more because it was hitting my you know right when you open it it's sitting up like this while my hand goes right there so I'll flatten this out. So it's a little bit fidgety, but it's good. You know, it's a cool design. I like this. I like this design. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Um, what other pens do I have? Oh, let's try a uh, Schmidt. So this is a retro. This is the Play Ball Retro. I can't remember if I have the 8127 or 8126 in here. Oh, it's the 27. If anything goes through paper, it's this one. So when you find a, a nice page like this that it doesn't. So, yeah, if y'all are saying that he used to work with uh, right pads, he knows enough about paper to, to, to get it right. So no fleathering, fleathering, feathering, bleed, nothing. So if you're wondering about the Wonder Books paper, it's really good like zero complaints out of me so interesting i'll be interested to see what else he does these are very very highly specific notebooks so these are the three offerings right now so the pino lantern the comic and the wonder book one i like the wonder book one the comic is super specific um it's i mean what does handle a folded nib tony sketch paper probably poorly Tomoe River you know super super thick Tomoe River yeah so I'll work on a review for these um, I should have saved save save some to open uh, on the review I'll have to save my bits and pieces here so I can take a take a take a review shot uh, but yeah those are cool all right those are the things I wanted to show y'all today. Things I was planning on showing y'all today. Gosh, we've already got an hour. Um, no, but Stephanie did. Stephanie in the chat, she hooked me up. She got me the St. Louis ink this weekend. That looked like my kind of shade of blue-black, right? I mean, I'm certainly all over that. So uh, I'll take a picture of that for later. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. <laughs> yeah, my Twitch viewers are fun. So... Um, I decided I needed to carry this little guy a little bit more. I was, I was digging around searching for a pen to use for the Coraline d'Egypte ink. Um, today I was actually looking for my orange, I have one of the orange 580s, Twisby 580s. 
um, that I wanted to use for this and I couldn't find it. Like it, it frustrated me, but I have stuff everywhere and that's my own fault. It's around the house somewhere because it has a nice wide nib and it's got extra flex added to it. So I thought that would be good to show off the sink. But as I was going through that, somehow my prototype of the Tallulah pin case got thrown in there. So I decided I need to carry this more and tease y'all with it a little bit more because we're almost there. Um, few weeks i'm not a few weeks i mean hopefully by the end of this month see you tj i'll talk to you later i'll have questions for you i'm sure you'll have comments for me um yeah i need to find something to do what oh um i don't care for the fc ink that much i mean it's fine but i mean i get better elsewhere i want that ghost pen though i wrote that up in the member refill members uh so hopefully they have one at uh DC this year and uh, I will pick that up. I really like how that ghost pen looks once I saw one eyedropper I tried one of the blue green ones and they were pretty good But I just don't use them regularly. I mean I have a few of them. I just prefer the honeycomb was pretty good I used that in Arkansas. That was pretty good. I did like that one But I just don't ink I chew don't I have other choices that end up getting inked more than those. So. Still digging my ocean. The more I use it, the more I like it. So very much a fan of this. Yeah, Jim, I don't even wanna know. I haven't tried the Arushi Red or Spanish Blue. So what y'all are telling me is I need to try more, some of the new ones. I haven't tried some of the newer ones. Although I did try Honeycomb and I do agree with y'all. It looked really nice. Can y'all hear that handwriting? This nib just sings. The uh, stub nib on a medium fine sailor nib. All right, let's see how many questions I think that's going to wrap it up for this stream. Um, I'm probably going to play some video games after I do a little bit of work here. I'm going to end this one. Oh, sure. You'll see the ocean. I'll end this stream, and then I'll probably come back in a little bit after I check some email and do some worky things. So in front of my eyes right now, it's green, but coming up on your screen, it's blue, which I guess is exactly what the ocean would be like. Right, like I'm looking at the computer screen of what you're seeing, and that's not the color I see in my hand at all, if that makes sense. It's really hard to photograph. It is hard to see the color. It's not as translucent as you would think, but you, it is translucent like in the barrel area. Here, like in the section, um, and towards the top of the cap, it's more translucent. But then the barrel is more solid, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like the depths of the ocean, I think. Um, at least that's the story I'm telling myself. I've been really happy with it. Um, I'm glad it's silver trim, obviously. Yeah, this the St. Louis Pen Show ink is going to probably go in here. I picked uh, Orochizuku, Orochizuku Shinkai to go in here um, because I wanted that ocean feel for the color. Yeah, I'm with that, Corinne. Um, you know, this is one I would recommend to see in person. It's different. Just like that last one with the uh, the more sparkly 1911 one they just did. What was the name of that color? That just came out like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. That one looks completely different in pictures than it does in person. It looks better in person. And it looks great in pictures. It looks better in person. Like I'm considering it just because it looks really, really good. But then again, I love sailors and... You know, I talked about in my review today for the Platinum 3776 Oshino, you know, kind of like why I'm okay with having, you know, five of these, but only want one of the Platinums. What's the difference in their lack of difference? And, you know, it's a personal taste and feel and aesthetic thing. That Sailor does something a little bit more for me than the 3776 uh, from a weight perspective. And the nib's almost as good. 3776 nib's better. I'll, I'll grant you that, Tony. Um, so, yeah. Love it. Very happy with this one. But uh, check out that. If you like the uh, if you like the 1911 side style, 
with the uh, rounded ends. Check out that last blue one that they did. I'm sorry I'm blanking on the name. Susan reviewed it for the blog. Um, super fantastic color. Yeah. Do you use the 3776 more? You have more? Do you use them more? Like, I use the sailors more, but I use the 3776 a lot. It's just I only have one I'm where I might carry, like, three sailors. I don't know. It's just a thing. Stormy Seas, thank you. Totally blanking on that. Uh, but anything blue, I like, so. I mean, you can tell I've got my... And it doesn't matter the shade. I mean, there's my current... That's the case I took. I brought to bring over here today. It's the Notco Lookout, the Raven Turquoise one. Then I've got... That's one shade of blue. That's one shade of blue. That's a third shade of blue. But they're all beautiful to me. So, sorry, orange. I do like the blues. But I do have orange ink. It was all I could do to not ink this up with orange. I'm telling y'all, that was a struggle. <laughs> I was going to do that. But I was like, hey, you can't put an orange ink, uh, another orange ink in there. I have so many orange ink pens inked up. Yeah, those, uh, that Imperial Black is, is one of my favorite all-time favorite pens. All right, what else do you want to talk about? Or y'all want me to wrap this up? Because I'm out of topics for today, but I have a show to plan. I have two shows to plan on uh, on, th on Wednesday, actually. We're going to do a Pen Attic Podcast double header. And uh, so I'm going to work on those show notes. Now, um, we could work on them in, th in this chat if you want. What do y'all want to hear on, on uh, Wednesday? Let me find something to take notes with. Like, I don't have anything, but I'm particular. Like, we got to figure out the things. Like, some notebooks stay here. I don't want to write down my notes in there, in them, and leave them. Still carrying the, the 1911. 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Yes, we're shooting for 9 a.m. start. You will hear two live episodes. Only one episode will drop. And then the other one will drop the following week. What's today, Tony? I'll get on the proper date now. Monday the second. All right. Let's plan a let's plan a podcast real quick. So y'all have two of the topics already. And you know, someone mentioned, you know, what do you want to see on the Twitch streams? So let's, how about a preview of the topics you're going to talk about on the show? And oh, good question, Miguel. I'm gonna write that down. Um. So yeah, I didn't think I would get to most of them because a lot of times they just come in, the news comes in right before we're going to we're going to talk about the show and then um you know, I don't have time to do a Twitch stream before. Sometimes my schedule I fell a little backwards into my schedule today. Um I was supposed to be at knock which takes probably five or six hours out of my day. I was not planning on streaming today at all, but my schedule changed because I got a shipment to my house that I could reship. So the today's stream was just luck. So um, thoughts on the new vanishing point? I haven't seen it. Do you have a link? So is this the new uh, the new this year's limited edition vanishing point? I don't think I've seen it yet. Am I going to reship to you? No, you already have them. It was just black lookouts. Just black lookout. So, what are we? Episode three fifteen. Will be the first one. Is that where we're at? Sorry, I have to note everything down. Everything's got to have a header. Yeah, three fifteen. So this is fun. This is turned into from a pin stream into a work stream, but it's a pin working stream. And then, so 315 is going to be favorite pencil cap for black wings. I do. Keep these questions coming. I'm writing all this stuff down. I actually, <laughs> look, I, it's funny you ask that. All right. See, this is what Twitch does to you. It gets you distracted because y'all are awesome. I'll show you, Sherry. I can show you right now in my Tallulah pen case because I have a black wing right here with the basic I think they're 10, T-I-N, 10 um, caps from CW Pencils that come in like a four or five pack. So, yeah, that's my favorite pencil cap. We'll put this in the show. It's a miracle. Miracle that I had that today. 
yeah. So and they do the they do this color, and then they do um, like some uh, pastel-y type colors, like metallics, I guess, lime, orange, yellow, purple. That look real cool. I have those too. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out. Please hit the follow button, the little heart, to be notified when the panatic goes live. Thank you, chatbot. I appreciate that. So now I need a chatbot that says, "Jam your your Twitch Prime subscriptions in there." The new one's pretty cool. It's not my favorite, but I understand why it's doing well. It's got the right core in it, which is this one, the 602 core, which is my favorite. Let's see what these are. The Ippos, yeah, I don't like those. I mean, they're cool. I like them, but I like these go into my cases better, so I can just slide them down without having the, the corners. All right, so the Panatic Podcast, we're going to do G Herbal. Cornaline, Dijipt. How'd I do, Jim? You still here? We'll do an ink review on that. So I don't know if I finished what I was saying. We're gonna do these two episodes. We're gonna do um, Exquisite Corpse. Those were number fifty-four. They were fantastic. I don't have one of those here to show off. So we're gonna do episode three fifteen. We're gonna do your standard panatic show then 316 is going to be completely as tpa i think or at least three quarters as tpa we're going to do cosmos pen review so i wanted to get those things 24 is pretty good that's probably like in the top three for me you're not 56, Tony? I thought 56 would be number one for you. It's number one for me, and I'm not even a Yankees fan. Yeah, the, I get the 10 ones to bend. I mean, that's why they have a slit in them. So they have a slit in them, and then you just squish them. All right, so we're going to do Miguel. We need to do Mike's notebook check. Mike check. So we want uh, Mike notebook, pen and ink check. He may not give it up. We'll see. All right. So we need. Uh, yeah, twenty four was the all black. Yeah, but that, I don't think the 602 is different from the extra firm in a huge discrepancy kind of way. I mean, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, Tony got some of those. Pilot capless cross lines. Hmm. We'll definitely talk about this. My initial thoughts are what do you think Evan what do y'all think Evan put the link in the chat room to the new pilot um, vanishing point 2018 limited edition that's a resounding meh for me no I agree they do feel different Tony they hold a point a little di bit differently but if I'm blindly using them I can barely tell a difference like I could probably pick them out but in the end it's it's closer than I would think no I needed that Evan too because uh, I need to talk about this so uh, 2018 vanishing point I mean I didn't buy the last two or three and they were those were awesome like the crimson sunrise and the one before that those were killer and I didn't buy either of those just because I don't need any more this one I have zero interest like it's fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but it is uninteresting and uninspiring so putting that in the show notes for sure like I can see like I could design that pin like I would 
come up with that design if I worked for Pilot. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, but I don't know that I would put it on the vanishing point. They just did that that black guilloche, what, a couple years ago. And um, I like it better than this one. I mean, this is like the plaid Burberry edition. Um, it's fine. It'll sell out. It'll do well. Yeah, like, yeah. It just doesn't just doesn't get me going like the Crimson Sunrise, and even then I didn't buy. I didn't buy it. I guess I'm sticking with my old ones. Like, I have the orange one, and I have a faceted black, and those are the ones I use. And I have a white Stormtrooper one. Those are the ones I always use. I just couldn't justify buying any more. Um, and this one wouldn't even rank in the last few years. What was the one before Crimson Sunrise? Was it Twilight? That purple and blue one? That was a stunner. That sold out almost immediately. What are they calling it? Cross Lines. Twilight, okay. Twilight and Crimson Sunrise, man. Those look great. Crazy Alamo is going to sell me a Crimson Sunrise in Atlanta for like four fifty. I'm like, I'm good. I don't call him Crazy Alamo for nothing. <clears throat> I mean, it looks good. It's very professional and stylish, but... I mean, you know me. I mean, I we got a black Lamy Safari. We're getting a black stripy capless. You know, maybe if it was checkerboarded, I'd be in. Crimson Sunrise. Yeah, I hate you, Stephanie. Shush. You're banned. Is there a ban button in here? I need to find the ban button. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Wonder Books. I don't know if that's going to make the show this week. We'll see. We'll put them down. Yeah, Jerrica's banned, too, for her rod that I, I showed her. That was a good one. That, I wouldn't have bought that one anyway just because it's, it's my style, but that uh, I'm going to ban both of y'all. You know, trouble, especially in one place at the same time. Oh, uh, Wonder Books. But that was a steal on that rod and one. Stephanie, how was the show in uh, St. Louis? <laughs> yeah, I was like, she should have called me out about it. So I got to make a special note on the Wonder Books to see. Stephanie, do you have a, uh, I know you were only there on Sunday. Do you have a, a, a quick... Can I put you on the spot for St. Louis real quick, you know, in a one or two sentence uh, recap? Jeff's recap was um, very busy, but didn't spend a lot of money was his um, show. He felt like the attendance was very good, but not a lot of spending. Yeah, Jeff had to go to Michigan. So he was in on the road to Michigan right after he'd landed <laughs> Sunday afternoon. He had to jet. All right, so what else we got, y'all? So here's Reddit for you, and here's, so uh, who sent me this? Evan, Evan sent me this link. So I'm, I'm looking on the uh, pilot vanishing point. So this is how Reddit can be, you know, interesting. The very, the top rated comment on the, the stripey vanishing point is, hey guys, it's the 100th anniversary of our company this year. What should we do for the VPs limited edition? Plain black with three ugly lines will do. So that's not true. Yeah. yeah, so inaccurate statement, but hey, that's what Reddit's all about, right? Like, you know, doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> Reddit. I've, I've attempted to Reddit. I browse Reddit, but just mostly for the uh, eye bleach stuff, like the, the pets and the silly gifts and things like that. But uh, I don't get much value out of out of the Reddit. I've attempted to do the Pen Attic channel, but I just I'm not there enough to make it work. Yeah, so we had a crazy slow dollar show um, for Knock. It was Raleigh's our slowest show. We did half a Raleigh, 
So it was pretty rough dollar wise. Like we didn't lose money, but I yeah, uh, it was dollars and cents were rough. Oh yeah, I mean that's one of Reddit's fortes, right? The naughty picture subreddits. I'll pass. I'll end up with like computer viruses or something. I don't know where to click on on Reddit to not get in trouble. But that's why I put a pets channel on the uh Oops, I just hit the Twitch button. That's why I put a, the pets channel on the on the Slack because I end up uh <laughs> looking at the pet stuff on Reddit. <laughs> Reddit's about the only hole deeper than the pen world. I don't know, there's a few. <laughs> there's a few. Pen world's a lot more sane than Reddit. Mm. Well, that's good, Stephanie. I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> Wang. All right. I think it's a rap game, gang. Yeah, I wish Anna would come to more shows. Her, her and Bob's table is always filled with awesomeness. Yeah, and Lisa was out traveling to an in-store thing in Seattle, which sounded pretty cool. I talked to her this morning. She had a blast. So, yeah, hopefully Anna does that more in the future. All right, I'm going to wrap this stream up. I'm actually going to be back. If y'all want to hang and talk about pens and paper while I play video games, uh, so I'll be doing some video games uh, probably in the next hour or so. I got another couple hours to kill here, but I need to check email, get some work done today. So, Thanks for hanging out, and thanks for all the subs and the followers. Y'all are awesome. I super appreciate it, and uh, 